go to jail. Come on, this is Artifacts of Mars. I got some bad news for you. The widow of the Orlando nightclub shooter has walked. A jury has found her not guilty, even though she gave full confession. Nor Salman, 31, sobbed upon hearing the jury's verdict of not guilty, I don't care whether she cried or not, of obstruction and providing material support to a terrorist organization and charges that could have brought a life sentence. Her family gasped each time the words not guilty were pronounced. <coughs> On the other side of the courtroom, the families of the victims of June 2016 Pulse nightclub shooting sat stone-faced and silent. I'd be sitting there scowling angrily. With an hour, someone was released from jail and got a waiting car without answering. Got into waiting car without answering questions. Nora is so grateful. Her belief in the process was shown. She wants to get back on her own. Her attorney, Linda Marino, said. Family spokeswoman Susan Clary said, "Someone's family always thought that Nora was the first victim of her husband, Omar Mateen." Oh, wonderful. So, let me get this straight. She helps him out in choosing, you know, who knows, weapons, a nightclub shoot-up, and so forth. And all of a sudden, she's a victim. Unbelievable. Who is this Susan Clary? What a nutcase. The verdict reverberated throughout Orlando and legal circles beyond. Government rarely, rarely loses these kinds of cases. It's got every single factor on its side, said David Oscar Marcus, a Miami attorney who routinely tries federal cases. It's a pretty impressive win from defense and devastating loss for the government. Not to mention the rest of us. Mateen, the American-born son of Afghan immigrants, was killed by police after opening fire in the name of the Islamic State group. Relying heavily on alleged confession from Selman, some federal prosecutors charged that she and Mateen were had scouted out potential targets together, including Disney World's shopping and entertainment complex, and she gave him green light to commit terrorism. But the defense portrayed her as an easily manipulated woman with a low IQ and argued that she signed a false confession because she was tired after long interrogation and feared losing her young son. Horse tongue. That is bullshit. In a blow to the government's case, the FBI itself found their seats and cell phone signals showed the couple were nowhere near Pulse on the day someone said they were. Also, prosecutors introduced no online posts, texts, or any other evidence that supported Salman supporting ISIS or had, were hard pressed to counter the defense's portrayal of her as a simple, sweet mother who loves her five year old son, romance novels and the cartoon character Hello Kitty. Too. Let's not forget that. I'm sickened by this. Utterly sickening. What can you say at a time like this? I don't know. Nothing we can do about it, but I would suggest if you are neighbors to this person. Keep a close eye on her. 
and keep a close eye on the local mosque. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.